everyone, Britt Guest here with today's Daily Dose. And we're gonna be talking about an urgent care topic, specifically a Corpendium book chapter on pharyngitis. Now, the vast majority of pharyngitis cases are viral. They self-resolve on their own and there's not a whole lot for us to do in the ER. Can I stop there? No, gotta keep going. Okay, let's talk about the bacterial causes. Again, not as common as viral, but important for us to still discuss. The one that we really need to think about is group A beta hemolytic strep. The differential also includes gonococcal pharyngitis as well as mononucleosis. Now, what if you have a two-year-old coming in with a sore throat, symptoms that are maybe concerning for strep? Should you test them? The answer is no, don't test them. These are the recommendations for the Infectious Disease Society of America because strep throat in kids under three years old is so rare. One caveat here is if an older sibling at home has a confirmed strep infection, then you can go ahead and test this kid and treat if positive. Now we should probably cover the modified Centaur score. Now different societies, different physicians use this scoring system differently. For me, I use this to decide who I should test. If the Centaur score is high enough, then I'm gonna go ahead and test this person with a rapid antigen test. If that test is positive, then I'll go ahead and treat them. Now the gold standard for testing is actually a throat culture, but these results don't come back for several days, making it not that clinically useful in the ER. Now, if we have a confirmed infection and we're gonna go ahead and treat, there's a couple options. There's penicillin G, which is 1.2 million units IM, one-time dose. There's amoxicillin, which you can either give daily or BID for 10 days. And if you have a patient who's allergic to penicillins, you can also use clindamycin. Now, what about dexamethasone, you might ask? Great question. Actually, we covered this on the very first urgent care grand rounds back in August. We reviewed a paper that actually showed dexamethasone can help relieve symptoms, decrease pain, and decrease the time that patients are symptomatic. So if I have a patient who really is having pain, they're having difficulty eating and drinking, I will go ahead and give a dose of dexamethasone. This is 10 milligrams orally. You can give it once or for a couple days. It should help resolve their symptoms and doesn't really cause any complications. <laughs> 